Well, uh, I got to say, I'm a huge fan of the show. Uh, I'm kind of addicted to it. I live in Canada where we haven't really had access to the show like you guys have had in the States. Um, but luckily, I've been getting the screeners from the studio and, and uh, my girlfriend's addicted to it. I sent them to my parents. My parents are addicted to it. We all are very, very, very invested in the show, and especially in Monica and Casey. <laughs> oh, bless oh, cool, you. man. <laughs> <laughs> so I have to ask, so considering what happened with Tate last season and the fact that you guys always seemed like you were the most independent of kind of the family and the people related to the family, do you think that's what happened? That's what, what has happened with Tate is bringing you guys closer into, the, into Dutton's web? And is there any way that the family could ever separate themselves from it? Definitely. I think that those pressures have absolutely um, you know, brought them back together and uh, for, for better or worse. Yeah. Um, and then I also think that, especially for Monica, you know, once she, once she has her family back, it's, more, it's also about, well, how do I also maintain a part of, of her community? Oh, really? um, so, uh, so yeah, she's constantly balancing. And how about you, Luke, what do you think? You know, I was, as I was, as those scripts were coming in, I was sort of reading all that, Obviously, the worst case scenario for, for Casey and Monica is to have something happen to their son like that. Mm -hmm. To have it happen because of the family business, you know, it, it's a nightmare for them. And I think I was wondering with the problems that they'd already faced, uh, you know, and the troubles they've had with their relationship, if, if the Tate situation was going to sort of push them apart or bring them closer together. And, and thankfully, it, it seemed to have brought them closer together. And I think in season three, you see that now they're, they're, their love is stronger than ever and, mm -hmm. and they're just like a united front and I love that. Um, Kelsey, I actually have a question for you based on what you said before about how she is kind of being isolated from her community in a way. I found it really interesting actually the scene with the university students where your character kind of seemed to, to give up on, on what was happening. What do you think her take is on somebody like Dutton? Do you think that there's a, a certain kind of loyalty or affection that she has towards him or not? Because I've always found that it's your relationship has always been the hardest for me to figure out. It seems adversarial, but at other times seems kind of friendly. Yeah, she's she's definitely, I think because of their history, she's definitely cautious of him. But I think that, you know, especially in last season, something that they can agree on is that is this fight for, for family. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, but I, def I definitely think that the irony is not lost on her that, uh, you know, now he's the one trying to fight for his land. Mm -hmm. uh, Luke, I got to ask you also a question. I just saw the most recent episode where it looks like Casey is going to become livestock commissioner, a role that he's kind of been fighting against for the last three seasons. What can you give us a preview of what life is going to be like for him? I'm, I'm assuming he'll do a better job than Jamie because somebody who died on his second day of work. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I know it, it's it's kind of cool this season. Casey starts starts to find his own path, and even though it doesn't look like what he, he thought that was going to look like, he does it in the only way he knows how to do it. Mm -hmm. And uh, and yeah, so taking on this bigger job and sort of becoming you know, uh, uh, someone who's like part of society now, part of the world, it gives him a purpose, you know, versus just having all this time to sit around and deal with his demons, you know, he sort of mans up in a way and it's and it's it was really fun to, to read and, and play. Yet, will there still be uh, a re uh, use of his Navy sk Navy SEALs uh, skills? <laughs> I'm assuming there will be. <laughs> yeah, I don't, think, I don't think those are going anywhere. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Um, Kelsey, I have another question for you, actually. Um, so do you think, because a lot of the season was spent in kind of this, so far has been spent in this kind of idyllic setting where you guys are camping with Tate. Do you think that she finds part of Dutton's lifestyle very attractive to some, to some degree? Do you think it's hard for her to resist in some ways? I think, I mean... I know as Kelsey, we, when we were out there in the, we called it the summer camp, yeah. you know, shooting scenes, we're sitting by a fire, we're listening to Kevin tell a story under the stars. <laughs> like it's, I mean, I'm in, you know, it's, uh, there's, there's a, definitely a temptation, but I think, um, yeah, I mean, I think it's always been about the three of them. And mm -hmm. as long as they can be together, then that's, that's what's important. 
So what is the dynamic like on set though? Cause it seems like from talking to you guys all over the last couple of weeks, it seems like it's pretty close knit. Like you guys are pretty, a pretty likable bunch and that you guys all seem to get along really well. Would you say that that's, that that's accurate, that it is kind of a family atmosphere, especially being, I guess, isolated from a lot of people if you're shooting up there? Uh, I, I think so. I mean, I've made some, some friends for life on this job, especially, you know, with Kelsey and, mm -hmm. uh, it is, it's like a family and, you know, we all love it as much as the audience loves it. You know, it's, we're going on in this journey as well. And to be a part of it just feels so special. And, and yeah, I mean, it really is even, even through all the jobs I've ever done, this group of people is, is spectacular. And, and it's just nice to be with so, so many talented and passionate people. And Kelsey, what are your thoughts? Oh, I, I mean, I just got to echo Luke. I, it's it really is a special job, and yeah, I I really love them. Like I I, I miss them when we're gone. So I, and I know we're all aching to get back. So um, so hopefully hopefully soon. Okay, so on that note, then I'm going to put you guys on the spot for your characters. So assuming that you guys, you know, obviously your answer would always be that the most important people to your characters are the family, are 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 um, are, are Monica and Tate and and, and Casey, but. Assuming you guys ended up in complete complete control of the ranch and you could keep one of the other family members or, or Rip or somebody else who was involved, who do you think they would keep on hand? Who do you think is the one that they trust above everybody else? So we get to keep our three, right? Of course, of course okay. yeah. Wait, so us three and one more? Yeah, one more. <laughs> That's not fair. <laughs> not that they're gonna die, but you, you can't do this to us. Ranch. Come on, bro. <laughs> You keep them on the ranch. I'm going to let you answer, Kelsey. I'm not getting anywhere near that one. <laughs> I mean, look, I'll I'll stick with girl power. You got to have you got to have Beth. You yeah, know. I, I figured that because you guys had that great scene last season too in the store that I thought was amazing. So it, yeah, I mean I, that relationship I I really love and um, yeah yeah you got to keep her around for sure. <laughs> and 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 Luke, no love for Rip. Seemed like you guys were like kind of growing up. Well, me, me and Rip are all good now. You know, we had our issues in the past, but uh, I think we we figured out that we're better on the same team. You know. All right. Well, thank you very much, guys. I really appreciate uh, taking the time out, and I, I can't wait to see how the how the season plays out. Oh, thank you so much. It's so nice to see you, even virtually. Yeah, nice to see you too. <laughs> Take care, guys. <laughs> Take care. Bye. You are at the trailer park. I am the tornado. Every road leads right here. Destiny's a hard thing to run from, isn't it? You're all I need. You are truly evil. All I do is you! There's monsters everywhere in this world. 